today I want to talk about paranoia. It's a real thing. Can you ever be too paranoid? I found in all my days in IT that you can never be too paranoid. If you have that gut reaction that you need to back something up, you should back it up. Even if you know, I'm just going to reboot. It should be fine. But when that tingly spotty sense says, you really should back something up. You should do a snapshot. You should probably go with it. Security is much the same way. I'm paranoid about people taking over my accounts, my Gmail accounts, my bank accounts, accounts like anything like that that has something that's sensitive to me. And the thing that's interesting is that, you know, I've had occurrences where, like in my Gmail, for example, it's just somebody from a foreign country was trying to log into my Gmail. Now, luckily, I have two factor, but two factor is not bulletproof. In fact, if you're using your phone as two-factor, then somebody can spoof your number and potentially redirect your text messages so that when somehow they got your password through malware or virus or a browser hack and they have your password. So then they go try to log into Gmail. Well, then try to send that two-factor code to your mobile device if that's what you're using. And so then, now they have you compromised on your Gmail account and have access to everything. What do you do? Now, at first, I used Google Authenticator. The bright side of that, with nobody having access to my phone, but me, in theory, then they couldn't hack my cell phone number and get my text message and get the code. And that is a good way. But what do you do if you lose your phone? That happens. Sometimes your phone just doesn't come on. And so, how do you go more paranoid than that? Well, I'm looking at Titan. This is Google's Titan Security Key Bundle. I bought this just a while back, and I've been anxious to use it. I haven't had time. There's not enough hours in a day. And I wanted very much to like, go and talk about this. So, let's see how it goes. Hey, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to set up Titan Security Key. This is the Titan Security Key Bundle. Titan Security Key Bundle. Duh. Yes, okay. All right. And we're going to do the setup process. Now, here we go. So I'm on the landing page for Google Advanced Protection. And I'm going to hit the Get Started button. And it's going to walk me through the process. All right. So it's going to say, Hey, where are you located? I'm in the U.S. I don't know where you may be, but I'm in the United States. And it's going to say, hey, buy one of these. I already bought it. Thanks for asking. And then it's going to say, wait until your keys arrive. Ready to turn on advanced protection? Confirm. I have two keys to register them. I have two security keys. Now, the two security keys are this, the Bluetooth one, and this, the USB one. All right? So... Let's be in my password now. I obviously am not very paranoid because I've already entered my password. But I am paranoid, so let's see what happens. Okay? So I'm going to add a security key. Now there's a good chance something will pop up that I'm not aware of because I'm just now doing it that I need to go back and blur out later. So forgive those if those happen. Let's be add security key. <gasps> Make sure your security key is with you but not connected to your computer yet. Next. All right, so now it wants me to register my security key. So they gave me a USB cable, which I'm going to pull out of the bag, or try to pull out of the bag. <laughs> it's free, it's free, yay, okay. All right, so connect it up. I will always and forever plug USB things up wrong until I go USB-C. It's just that way. That's just how the world is. I am not capable of plugging USB things up right the first time. But anyway, so now it's plugged up. And let's find one of my USB ports. Let's 
It's waiting for me. Thank you for waiting. All right. It's now connected. And tap the button. All right. I'm going to... It pops up most of the time. Well, allow security key access. Yes, I do. <gasps> Well, so I don't want to name my security key. I'm going to name it George. Why not? Done. Okay, there's that one. I'm going to add the other security key. Add security key. Next. Okay. I'll plug it up. I got it plugged right the first time. Is that weird or what? <gasps> Don't want to allow it to have access? Yes, I do. <sighs> Marsha. There you go. My security key named Marsha. I know. I have to look at the screen. All right. I'm going to continue. All right. So here's where it gets really interesting. I'm getting ready to turn on advanced security. And this is where it's going to get really interesting. So... It asked me, these are the changes it's going to make. I will actually have to have one of these two keys in order to get into my PC. Well, sorry, to get into my Google accounts after this. Forever, forever, forever. Anyway. And then there are some non-Google apps that, will, that won't have access, perhaps. We'll have to go back and, and enable their access and you know, have to do some things. And some apps will work just fine. I won't have to do anything. But we'll see how that's going to work. And then account recovery is going to take extra steps. When I get to that part, that's probably where I'll do a lot of blurring things out. That's when it's going to ask me the name of my favorite dog and my mother's maiden name. But anyway, all right, so here goes no guts, no glory, right? Turn on. All right, it's like, are you sure you're going to be signed out of all devices? Everything. Anything that's using your Google account. Let's make it interesting. Turn on. And we're out. Now advanced protection is on. Okay, I'm going to click sign in. That wants my password. Now this PC I do trust. So I'm going to click next without typing in the password. And then I have to push a button. And I did. And now it's logged in my Gmail account. Uh, and now I should be able to get to my YouTube account, hopefully. Because I have a channel. And I think all three of you people that have watched it. Um, thank you. So. so. There I am. There's my ugly picture. So I've successfully used... Titan security key bundle. So there you go, Titan security key. Now, the interesting thing is I'm going to have to carry those keys with me everywhere. And the second key is my backup in case I lock myself out on the first one. So that's how the world works, folks. Hopefully, this will all work as expected. So unless you watched my unboxing video, you can see what the keys actually look like because I didn't hold them up long enough to show you. But like, first of all, this is what the Bluetooth key looks like. And this is what the USB key looks like. Uh, it's got a little button on it. Uh, so this is the, the uh, Bluetooth one. And once you enable this, if you have your Gmail configured on your mobile device, you will now have to go USB to that. I mean, not USB. You'll have, well, you can do USB key. You can do that. You have to have an adapter, of course. Uh, but you can do Bluetooth. You connect it up and then having it connected to the device you can then set it up and it will authenticate to let you in and then um, I wanted to set it up as a trusted device so that if it was near we accepted but it seems that it's as paranoid as I am and that's not an option so anyway thank you so much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like my channel this is the kind of stuff I do all the time unless I'm doing some uh, off, the, off the wall stuff but this is what I usually do so please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.